Oh my god. Hi everyone. Welcome to another All Mages 2v2 rando race. Um, another, you make it sound like there was scout. another one. This, this is the first one of the day. <laughs> this is the first one. This is the first one in months, actually. No. Um, yeah, we have Scout and Ikni versus Aggie and Lim for the losers round one. <laughs> yes, Maso did roll the seed. Yes, I. Which... Yes, I am. I did roll the seed. I asked both teams, and they both okayed it. So this is a massive yeah. seed. So true, Vale. I mean, the seed has a city eight, and Edge is only two. <laughs> it's a funny seed. Oh, and also, yeah, double crossroads is so unfortunate. Yeah, we'll see how one player gets out of crossroads, whether it's a stag or whether it's a major, because crossroads and dirtmouth don't have all that many majors. They have seven between the two of them, which is pretty average. Yeah, getting green path access early is like super important. You really want to get a play to green yeah. path as soon as possible. To green path and to fungal. Green path and fungal combined have nine, which is quite a few. Yeah, it is. I mean, emo it could be. Uh, we should talk about what um, gimmicks we have on for this match. Yes, we should. We have lore tablets randomized in the pool with everything else. And we have the glory of being a full rando, which adds a check at Coliseum 3. So yeah, the chances of Colo 3 being a major and the seed is pretty low. But, you know, it could still happen. It could still happen, and I'm rooting for it. I'm hoping, like, at least once this tournament we see a Colo 3 major. All right. And we're counting down. The runners should be off momentarily. So we noted Green Path and Fungal already have a lot. Queen's Gardens has quite a few as well. Three in such a low check area is certainly unusual. And that I weird realized... mask in, that weird mask yeah. in silver is the Colo 3 check. I like that icon. It's a nice icon. I have not seen it before. Oh, oh my god, limbs moving now. Nice. Yeah, I didn't see any mages at Salubra, so... Yeah, there Not were no the majors there. Yeah. I mean, Compass was there, though, so that's the most important thing, right? Oh, true. <laughs> so, Scout going up to Dirtmouth, checking the lore tablet on the way. Oh, I just realized that um, Sluber, Sluber also has Quill. Somewhat of a curse shop there. Yeah. Okay, I didn't catch Grubs too well. I didn't see any mages there, though. Maybe I wasn't looking close enough, though. There are six lore tablets in Green Path. Crossroad stag at Izelda. That is just so troll. Yeah, I think that is interesting. But I guess Scout doesn't have like a whole lot else to spend his money on. Yeah. Oh, Isma's at Moloch as well. Okay, so that is 
very nice. Let's yeah, that whether... gives fungal access, and also that gives actually all of green path as well. So yeah. I'm sure key. I'm sure blue will send a um, a player there soon. Yeah, shopkeeper's key at the corner for map as well. So that's two of the majors there. Yeah, imagine Lim will probably grab this bench and then head to fungal. At a guess. Yeah. Which I think is a good play. And we see Scout also fighting Moloch. Yeah, so we're going to see Ismus soon on both sides. Yes, three Lord Tablets in White Palace. One at the beginning of Path of Pain, two at the end of... Or close to the end of the base White Palace. No, Aggie. Oh, no, Aggie. <laughs> oh, unfortunate death going for the... That is Mask Churn Vanilla. I used to run 4MS. I should know this. <laughs> Alright. Lim taking a shot at damage boost relic. Took damage a little too far to the left, unfortunately, so I'm not going to make it up there. Yeah, we're not a big deal. Fog County is a one. It's unlikely it's there. And it's not. Probably Wait, not going to be off the platform there? I did not know that. Okay, and there's wings at oh, wow. the Go Mask Shard. In a little spoiler on yeah. limb screen so that good thing aggie did that then <laughs> yeah that is one of the few items i would say yeah that's worth a death yep for sure i believe that was hidden station stag at leg eater yeah Meanwhile, we have Scout going into Fungal Wastes for Red Team. I think Leg Eater? Or did I miss? It looked like um, Scout just skipped Leg Eater. Given the weird amount of Geo spent, I would assume that uh, he stopped yeah, by Leg Eater. Money, actually. That's, that's true. <laughs> And there's a pale ore locked behind Spore Shroom. Yeah, I'm just gonna have a look at look at Grubs here. No, there is nothing. there is nothing there. It's all that there is is an egg. We see them doing an advanced strat where she doesn't die to Sparks twice. <laughs> This is an early fluke mess. Yeah. <laughs> Emo. <laughs> don't, don't jinx it into happening. And I think Aggie bought Queen Station Stag right as Lim got there. And there's a swim <laughs> at Sly as well. It's a lot of Geo at Sly as well. That's kind of nice. Yeah. So that means the player that started off in West Blue Lake can check resting grounds now. Question was, was it Aggie or Lim that started in West Blue Lake? It was Aggie. It was Aggie? Okay. Yep. 
Oh, the right fragment Echoing Station yeah. as well. I'm actually confused what they're doing here. Are they sending Aggie to Green Buff? Must be Aggie because of the Sly access. That would make sense. Got a Jack Lick Eater. Just bought Hidden Sag as well. So it looks like Aggie and Lim are splitting Fungal Green Path, while Scout Ichni oh, yeah. are doing what I probably would do here and have one player go Fungal or Green Path and the other go Resting Grounds. Yeah. I don't think we found like we just haven't found like proper aggression yet. That's um, correct. Yeah, we might find a hair like. The little resting grunts. We'll see. Yeah. Oh, just essence. Seeing a decent number of rancid eggs early. I think that is yeah, five like, for blue like team yeah, four. and four for red. Yep. No symbol yet though. I do like how Lim and Scouter almost sink town through fungal. Also, Ikni getting the skip up to resting rounds just fine. And we get to see everyone's favorite rando thing, Itemless Dream Plats. It, it's not anyone's favorite. <laughs> Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. And in similar vein, we see um, Spellless um, of a Grand Mound, which Aggie is attempting. Yeah. <laughs> not very fun. No, it's not. I want to hope he's not die. <laughs> oh. Scout just going straight down towards Bretta. And Lim stopping at Mantis Village first. Good saving that. Okay, let me see if there's anything at Essence. No. Nothing. <laughs> Shops. Both crabs and Essence have been bad this seed. Okay, so that's Spore Shroom at Bretta's at the Dashmaster check. Oh, Dashmaster, yeah. So that so is we'll one of the small. final majors down. Yeah, and that allows them to get the little tablets as well. Nice to get that early. So we see Scout heading up to Green Path now. And there's Claw oh. and Resting Grounds. So one team is Wings and the other team is Claw right now. That's kind of fun. And both are still out of logic. Yeah. I imagine like a, it would be like a Resting Grounds deck or a Trampass that will put that in logic. Which I'm sure we'll find. Even and a dash, dash would put actually. that in logic as yeah. well. Yeah, true, a dash would. And no teams have got to green path yet, so which is a five. Yeah. Meanwhile, so I'm, I'm Aggie and Scout yeah. are both in the green path. Yep. I think Scout opted to skip all of the Fog Canyon checks. Yeah. Which, is Which could come fair. back to bite him, though, because there was a pale war there. Oh, there was. Yeah, there was. Yeah, the short term is good, though, because we're catching up in Green Path him. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to do the skip up to Deep Nest. Oh, no. 
I'm not That's getting it, unfortunately. Yeah. He is going into Ancient Basin as Aggie picks up Howling Wraiths at yep. the Hunter Totem. Oh, is Aggie's... Oh, sorry, Lim following Aggie into Green Bath there, I guess. Yeah. Um, so have Blue Team not found that swim yet? Oh, they do have a swim, they just haven't... Yeah, they found the swim. That's slide. They just haven't said Aggie to resting grounds yet. Correct. Yeah, that's fair enough. Maybe maybe we'll see Aggie go the soonish uh, once, like... These east green path checks are done. Chat bringing up a very valid point that Queen's Gardens is actually an option right now. Or with Ismus. that wing's yeah. Ismus. Yeah, there's a few checks you can do in QG. And you can get and the corner of bench as well. With Q and with QG3. Yeah. Like you can you, you can even get Swash Room, I think. Like there's a lot you can do though. Yeah. Or 20 Geo at the fountain. So I see three players in Green Path. And then one player in Basin. Oh, actually, I just found... I missed a Storm Seg. When that happened? Oh, at the... Acid Relic. Uh, yeah, Acid Relic in Green Path. So immediately just warps there. That's pretty smart. With City yeah, Ace, with City Ace, sure this makes a lot of sense. There. Yep. And there's Lantern at the Storm Stag. So that puts that claw on logic. Not the Stag at the Elevator Pass. But that's, that does it put does, claw on logic. Yeah. That's true. That's, I guess that's progression then. And there's a dream nail at the base and pale ore. Good so we're seeing some good divergence early here. Yeah. What about Igni's head on here? Oh, uh, probably kill Zero, I guess. I hope that so would the be my guess. The rest grounds is uh... Oh, we do see a symbol key at the Hunter as well, so both teams could potentially open Egg Shop. Yes. I know you don't mouth too, but like, we do see a lot of eggs early, so... Oh, and a second symbol key as well, actually. Sprintmaster at the city corner for... That's actually going to be very nice for... It is very nice. With not having dash, and there's a good chance we don't find it for a while with early claw yeah. wings. Now we know the progression doesn't involve dash. We might not see that for a while. Yeah. Just sorry for the serum. And there's Shade Soul at the Green Path Stag. That's most of the things in Green Path now for the blue team. Yes. Only one left. Yeah, and there's a decent chance we just can't get it. Yeah. I would like to actually see Aggie go up to Cliffs here after doing Vengefly King. Oh, they still don't have Claw, though. Oh, that's right. They don't have Claw yet. Yeah. It's very unusual for one team to have Wings and the other to have Claw. And there's King's Brand in City oh. of Tears. So they do have access to at least the Abyss Street check. I think it's only yeah. one. I believe this is really the only 
plausible way to get to the Spirit's Glade idol. Yeah, that's very slow. With just claw. I was well. <laughs> Oh, and wow. there's that disappointment. Yeah. If um if red team's like still missing city storms, that kinda sucks for them, but if Scout did pick it up, then um Ignis should probably go there as well. I think the way Scout went just missed it. Oh, it just missed the relic, yeah. Yeah, because I think so Scout up went up by yeah. The speedrun route? I see. That's unfortunate then. Oh, but actually, you can use going to close, which is a good play as well. Yeah. I like that. And there's Vengeful Spirit for Red Team. I love it. And they're probably just about to get this Shade Soul right after that. Oh, is Lim going to get a third pay Laura? I think so. That is what it would seem that's, to be. That's, yeah, that's pretty smart. So get a pay Laura. No, blue team has three and can check every nail upgrade. Yeah. And we'll, we can find out whether emo is right. <laughs> At emo, we're going to find out if there's something at pure nail again. It's time, folks. It is time. Yeah. I think Aggie's spending all the time Aggie in green both. Oh, realizing. Stop. Yep. Oh, there we go. Nice. Aggie I was about to say. About time to go to the to, yeah, Aggie's on their way to that claw. Nice. And getting a simple key that Scout and Ichni had to miss because they didn't have wings. Yeah, that's like three simple keys for the blue team. Great now, Slash so. is a pure nail. <laughs> plus one. Plus one. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, Mass Origin, in fact, rolled the seed. I rolled the seed. <laughs> so I wonder if Flim's actually gonna go to Waterway, so, or maybe he's. Yep, looks like it. Waterway is only two, but I think it's still a good plan. Either this or like. Sketch, he jumped to the right side. Okay, so Scout is going into City through the City Crest Gate. Oh, yeah. I think it's... Uh, yeah, it's a good play, because I missed that uh, Storm stack. I think the only problem I see, like, with the red team here is, like, Scout's kind of taking, like, all the big areas and you can use this left for cleanup. <laughs> right, there's another rancid egg. And it looks like Lim is setting up for Dumb Defender. Oh yeah. Setting up the enemy pogo, not knowing that not knowing that they're about claw. to get claw yeah. and make this entire enemy pogo irrelevant. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Still have so, not seen either of the Cliffs Majors. Yeah, I was about to say that as well. Lion Lantern, yeah. That is one advantage that um, Red Team has over Blue Team is they have that Dream now. Yes. You know, Blue Team is not even touch basin yet. Yeah. I think claw. blue team checked the stag and then just left. Which is understandable given that the yeah. walk across Hidden Station is just painful. <laughs> it is. Even with Spirit Master. But right now it seems to be paying off for red. Imagine Lim's doing this Dung Defender fight more for like right side access than the actual checks. Could be. Because when she decided to do it... Oh, and there's a dash, a dash in cliffs. The classic. That is awesome for red team. Yes. And, oh, and dash, dash master, master one. also oh, in cliffs. So nice. And getting a sprint master at the same time. So red is about to be schmoovin'. Yeah. We will see some right side for the first time in the seat. Oh, both the remaining mages and... Oh, ma yeah, I think so. I think... What was the other major at GG? Um, oh, I've already forgotten, but it was Lurian and Dreamnail. I th yeah, it was Lurian and Dreamnail there. Lurian and Dreamnail, both the, okay. Both the Dirtmouth mages left, so there's going to be no GPC, unfortunately, for Chris. Um, no NMG content either. Yeah, that claw advantage is starting to show itself. Red already has a 12 check lead. And that dash is only going to make that grow. Yeah. It's currently even a mage, so, but I'm sure we'll see that changing soon. We could even this pretty easily, though, if we see a dash in right side city. Yeah. Which is, like, somewhat likely, actually. Yeah, there was a dream mail at 10 rancid eggs. Hi. I keep heading to city here as well. I wonder. I wonder why. Maybe for Sanctum? Possibly. Yeah. With city 6, though, and Cliffs. Like, I feel like Aggie has better options here. Yes, Aggie, I think, yeah, Cliffs would be a better option here. Um, even Basin would probably be better. Yeah. Yeah, it is a City 6, so it makes sense to split. Alright. And we are seeing Jonies from Ichni. Lantern coming in for them just a few checks before. So <laughs> that Dark Jonies Girl. practice is not going to be necessary. Yeah, no dive and no dream gate makes me not yeah. like Sanctum nearly as much. I agree. Speaking of Dream Gate, there it is at Shade Soul. We have seen three Dream Elves. Yes, already. we have. Where was Iki? I missed that. I actually missed it too. Should be the last clips made. Oh, there's that, uh... there's a death oh. in Sanctum from Aggie. Yeah. And there's the last dream nail in Pleasure House. So we've already seen oh. all four dream nails. That's funny.
Yeah. Ash for Sanctum is pretty rough. Nail arts as well. Let me go into Ed Chair. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think you have to do cliffs like before the stuff. Yeah, you need to do cliffs sooner rather than later with there being two majors and Queen's Gardens for that matter, with there being three. Yeah, I don't think no, no teams have actually gone to Gucci yet. Edge two without dive and edge is massive. Yeah. Yes. Without dive or try and pass. Yeah. Oh, we're going to see a spike tunnel? No. And there's another simple key in Mantis Village. I was going to say, there's no way you can dream gate in the middle of a... Yeah. Of Mantis Lord's arena. <laughs> oh, you can dream gate anywhere in this room, actually. Oh, you can. Yeah, I think you, you definitely want to do like the small areas first when you don't have dash. Yeah, I can kind of understand putting off QG if you want the stag. But at the same time, there's no guarantee that you get it. All right, Ichni about to find the Woken Dream now for red team. And I already have the ability to do White Palace. Yep. No C dash, but yeah. Also, I if we C dash see could it. easily be in White Palace, actually. Yes. I do wonder if we see an early White Palace play. Just with all this movement already. Yeah. Aggie narrowly avoiding another death in Sanctum. A dive like in Sanctum would be pretty huge. Oh, Laura. That Too would be a major difference. Yeah. Orchid Dash would be nice. <laughs> yeah. Nail upgrade and assault Nail refill. Upgrade and assault refill. So there is a major there, but it's not a useful one. Oh, and there's a nail upgrade. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lim. <laughs> Barely living as well. Oh, we have finally seen clips for Maggie. Yes. It will take them a while to get all the way to the dash, but at least we'll eventually get them. Yeah. The blue team. Alright, time to see if Colors or anything. Oh, there's a dive there's at Kala. There's a dive at Kala 1. Oh boy. Oh boy. I wonder if Lim just does that. Like, they know GPC isn't anything. So you don't have yeah. to worry about, like, that. And we've yet to see another dive of the seed. <laughs> Yippee, massive seed. They do have Shade Soul, so the damage isn't terrible. Yeah. I think it's just, it's just slow with that dash, for sure. Yeah. I suppose one of the big questions now is when does Red find that Wings? That's and the go Max Shard. So close to being vanilla. Yeah, they still don't have wings, huh? 
Yeah. <laughs> right, let's just echo mouse shot. It's just quite funny. Lim is doing dashless pale worker. I am so sorry. At least, at least she has like sprint mouse. So it's it's not the worst it can be, and like it's That's shade true. Form. Doesn't mean it feels good though. All right, so Aggie guarantees to get some major hair in Stagnus, I believe. So I wonder what's here. Did we see? Oh, there's. Queen's Garden Stag in Mantis Village. So, well, that's oh, not a major behind Mantis fine. Lords. That is still very much a good yeah. find. Makes that worth a shot. Also, did we see Gorb from Red Team? We did. They did every check buff from Stagnus. I wonder what's here. Oh, it's the other another dive. dive. Wow. Well, I imagine Lim doesn't have to rush yeah. Color 1 now, so that's quite nice. <laughs> Absolutely so, another reason for Red to go get that wings. Yeah. Or, <laughs> or alternatively find Sackness Tag. Yeah, or find the other wings. Yeah, but that gives Lim like most of the edge checks. There's only one left though, but. And it could just be Tramlocks or like Markov. Yeah. Despite the dash difference, by the way, Blue's been doing a good job on keeping up on checks. Yeah, for sure. Oh, King Soul at the um Another swash room, I'll tap it. Yeah. Scout's dropping a dream gate there. And with City, oh, was that a C dash? Yeah, That's a C dash. All the way in Edge. So that is Edge actually done for Blue Team. Yeah. Um, that C dash was at the. It was in the upper edge room, right? It was our um, soul totem, like. Oh, it was our soul with, totem. Yeah, the one you can get without dive. So. Gotcha. It's actually kind of paying off uh, for the limb here. Yeah. And Aggie will give us test shortly. One thing that is going to help Red, though, is that Lim is going into Queen's Gardens. Funny we see that QG And this is a walk that Red is not going to have to make. That's true. Unless both of the ma unless all the it majors are very early in Queen's Gardens, which is yeah. extremely unlikely. It is still, like, um, first time I've seen QG this see though. Yeah. Oh, Aggies, no. <laughs> Oh no. Ooh. Terrifying dark jonies. I mean, it's, it's actually light jonies. Okay, and a cyclone at Lorraine. Queen's Garden stag was behind Mantis Lords. Looks like Inkney is going back for that lore tablet. Yeah, that was Galactus map. So I imagine Dive Lock Sanctum has at least like a major or two. That would appear to be the case. I'd be surprised if that could just go straight there after finding the dash. Yeah. Lim looks to be trying to find the last crossroads, the last couple crossroads mages. Aggie, you have died. You can just take the shortcut. <laughs> oh no. So, Ikhni is cleaning up crossroads. So, this is going to be good for Red Team eventually when he gets around to that Gome Mask Shard.
Yeah, if you can, he's trying to clear up crossroads. So we'll see that wing soon. And for all we know, this could be a major. It could be another wings. It could. Oh, is a strength though? Oh, that one can't be useful though. Yeah. Right, are we finally gonna see the. Can't lock a major, but it's nice to have fragile strength, especially. It's so it unfortunate to be. One cost. Lighting grim lantern, like when dashes right there, <laughs> but of course that yeah. gets now. So there's a nail upgrade at Love Key. Oh, Lim doesn't have... Um, Lim doesn't have that dream, dream gate. gate. Yeah. Unfortunate. But yeah. Blue team finally getting that dash. Yeah, and... You can use and there's Shade Cloak cool. at Galeon. So, red once again has a one dash advantage over blue. Yep. Fail champ before Go Mashad. I wonder if Go Mashad was just like forgotten about. <laughs> I mean, it's only one check. Yeah. And I don't know if Ichni has that bench. Probably if not. you don't have that bench, this makes a lot more sense. That shake look is gonna come in handy for fail champ. Oh. Meanwhile, we're seeing False Knight from Aggie. Oh, heck yeah. Blue team hasn't done that, hasn't done that yet. Oh. Successfully gets through first phase. Yeah. <laughs> Belly, but yes. Olim? Why aren't the maggots freaking out? Because Ichni dream gated in. Eatmus is more than QG. So this kind of makes sense. Oh. Yeah, I don't hate this. Yeah. Especially not having that QG stag. Yeah, this is totally fair. Oh, immediately found a major as well. Yep. It's another nail upgrade. Is that the third nail upgrade in Deepness, the seed? <laughs> I think at least two, then. I know for a fact it's at least two. Yeah, blue does not have Dream Gate. Yeah, we know where all four Dream Nails are, but blue's kind of dodged them. And there's the dupe wings at oh. Distant Village Stag. So while Scout will get there eventually, it might take a bit. Yeah. And just a lore tablet at Failed Champ. Realized Blue Team never did a mount. <laughs> Very lucky that yeah. the wasn't dash just there. Well, I'm not sure if they had a Balder Killer the first time they were there. Oh, wait, no. Sorry, I don't think Red had a Balder Killer the first time they were there. Oh, Blue yeah. just didn't go there.
actually even on mages currently. It's yeah. been like a quite close race. Despite the dash difference, like, blue has been keeping up. Yeah, blue is actually starting to gain checks on red now. Yeah. The advantage that blue has is they've actually gone to edge and they've cleared it, essentially. Oh, we're finally getting that wings for the red team. Yep. <laughs> I think they were uh, maybe 30 minutes late to that, but it hasn't affected them too much. Yeah. The location oh, yeah. difference, I believe, is six. With blue yeah, having six more than red. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we do see Aki getting Sanctum rewards, so let's see what mages are here. Okay, King's Idol at the end of White Palace. Ikni not going in. White Palace 3, I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, going to Queen's Gardens instead. This makes sense. Yes, Kuchi is a good place to go. Like, this is the one place where I would definitely say yes, go here before White Palace. <laughs> Especially with that stag. The nail upgrade at Love Key means that Red is probably going to end up doing everything but Mantis Lord. Not Mantis Lord, it's everything but Traitor Lord, assuming that's not the other major. But. That is still some good time to save. So none of these be mages. And there's a dive oh, for red at Marmu. And there's Shriek in Dive Lock Sanctum. Oh, I think Aggie's gonna do um Tyrant Honor with that. Which is fair. They still have a City 3. And I know yeah. one of them's at um Nailsmith, but they've they've done quite a lot more, so. Another Paylor in Queen's so, Gardens, yeah. by the way. That is notable. I think it's, is it four or five payload we've seen so far? Something like that. I love getting the nail upgrades in mid-fight. Yeah. I respect it. <laughs> so we still haven't seen the... anything in, with Fall Canyon, despite the fact that we can full clear it. Yeah. I think Volcano is like an area you do, normally do lots of Sonia 1. I mean, I feel like you do that before you do some of the city stuff, but maybe that's just me personally. Oh, yeah. Did, did Aggie like skip the Dash Master? If so, it's kind of unfortunate. <laughs> I'm not sure. But Dash Master was absolutely in cliffs. Yeah, it was right next to the dash check, but Aggie may have gone and is warped out because cliffs was done. Should be an odd decision knowing that you need Paylor. Yeah, you, you don't want to be doing that with Paylor needed. Yeah, 
Aggie, be careful. No. I, why do I speak? <laughs> why that do I speak? I've ever seen one. Getting more nail upgrades before going into the next attempt. Yeah. Alright, Ichni about to get that nail upgrade at Love Key. I believe that just leaves Trader Lord. Oh, and the Trader Lord Totem. Nosky Scout done. doing Nosk. Yeah, maybe this is... I don't think they've done Fungal Core, though. Fungal Core so... was a Soul Totem. I remember that getting hit oh. through the floor. That's, that's, that's fortunate, then. That means you can skip that. Yeah, so it is a trade lord, I assume. Yeah. Yeah, and blue team's still missing both QG stack and shade cloak. Yeah. Yeah, that shade cloak should be coming soon, but the yeah QG stack maybe not so much. Remind me where it was. That was behind Mantis Lords. Oh, and Grimchild okay. at Nos. Yeah. Okay, the so Nos was something. <laughs> that, that's a classic massive seed, actually, with Nos being a Mesha. I feel like this has been tame compared to what I've rolled lately <laughs> for the most part. Fair enough. Getting past first phase tyrant. Ichni finishing off Trade Lord. And Lim on their way to that Shade Cloak. I don't know it. Oh, there's Dash Slash at Gome that Journal Entry. Done? That is Crossroads done. That is Crossroads done. And Elevator Pass at White Lady. Oh my god, that was so scary. <laughs> Aggie had an orb going straight at them when they got the kill. Mid Shriek. That was terrifying. Goodness. Oh my god. Oh, GG. Let's see what's here. Just lore, unfortunately. It's lore that yeah, I I don't know if that makes collector guaranteed. It might do. Uh, so we're missing some other checks. I think it has to be collector. There was only one major um, from watches. There was one behind elegant key, was there? Oh no, there was there, there was there was yes. So it's no, it's not collector. It's just Iki. Okay, Void Heart in Fungal Core. There was a Dream Nail behind Iki, that's right. That was the first yep. one that Red got. Or maybe that was Dream Gate. My brain is mush. <laughs> Aggie doing green buff cleanup, I guess. No flower quest today. Well, they're trying, but it's not a tram pass. Yeah, well, Lim is actually doing mana slots, which is pretty huge. Means I get that QG stack. Yes. Start catching up on QG mages. Duke Dash in Crips, by the way. Aggie is checking Shape of On.
Let me check them on first, this is interesting. I because I'm pretty sure Aggie hasn't done like both MMC checks and like no eyes and Shio. So if yeah. it's here, it's kind of kind of lucky actually. Well it's not here because Scout and Ichni have green path zero. That's true. Don't recall where the last green path major was, but Maybe it was thorns? I'm just trying to think of things that Blue has not Maybe checked. Thorns. It could be like MMC, I think. Oh. Could be. Yeah. I feel like it might have been Elegant Key, because I know Red has had that for a long time. Interesting. Aggie going to Waterways as well. We're seeing an Abyss dip from Ichni. Yeah, I'd rather see Aggie doing like Spire here. Because Spire is like guaranteed something basically. Yeah, like Blood Core without Sea Dash never feels good. And there's the King Soul for blue. I think it's I think it's fungal done for blue actually, because I know there's um Yes, the because King they Soul. already saw the, yeah, the white fragment. I sincerely hope Lim didn't forget about that. <laughs> Assuming because you skipped the um the Lord Tablet, she probably knows. So despite Ren only having an 8-check lead, they have a 9-major lead, which is interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's like the QG difference, and um, I guess City as well. QG, City, a lot, a lot of the checks that Blue has done were an edge. Which, they've only found one... No, yeah. they found both majors there. But they've only gotten one of them. We also see Scout doing Tyrant. Alright, do we have anything at Voidheart? Probably a massive C would have something at Void Heart. Dirt Mouth Stag. Oh, that's pretty funny. Sadly, not useful as both teams started out on Crossroads, but. Yeah. Oh, quite funny. It is something. Oh, that's sick. Moving my scout to finish off phase one. Meanwhile, Lim is going into Kala one. Oh, yeah. I still think, I think it's a little too early to do this, as, like, there's still, like, a lot of areas that have one major. Yeah, I do. I would agree with you that this is probably a bit early. Yeah. And neither team I, has touched White Palace still. Yeah, I mean, I, I think Blue Team, Blue Team has two Dream Nails now, I think. That's true. They actually only have one, still. They only have one. Oh. And Red doesn't have C-Dash, so I suppose that is understandable.
Unless something is that... Oh wait, no, it looks like Igni is... Checking... The journal entry first. Is that actually faster? I've seen several people do that. And I feel I... like that's not faster, but I can Yeah, I always hit last, because it's just... It's such a long way to walk that way, but yeah. Oh, it's true, Vale. I guess it's the one advantage that um, Blue has, one, one of them, is that, like, they have more Paylor and they have the info that they need six. Yeah. And Red's kind of dodged them. I'm not sure if Red has gone and picked up the one that was just at a fungal spore shroom tablet. They did. So that was the third one. Oh, it's red has. Oh, I yeah, I don't believe so. If so, like. If so, going to Nailsmith with two paylor is a mistake. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Maybe they forgot about and it. And I oh. think Scout realizing that mistake. Yeah, Scout's going there now, I believe. Yeah, it's not. Oh, I think Aggie skipped the base in Paylor. That is not good, because that's a dream nail. Yeah. Maybe getting it now? Let's see. Yeah, Scout might have already thought they had it, which would have been their third. Yeah. I'm almost done with color one here. I'd like to see like a QG maybe. Now they have QG stack, they should absolutely do that. Yeah. You you have no reason to put it off at this point if you're blue. Yeah. Also I just realized that Abyss had zero mages somehow. Oh Yeah, and... Abyss had nothing. Abyss had nothing, yep. That is rare. Of course, we did not see the Arcane Egg at Lifeblood Core, which could be a major. That is true. Okay, so Red Team will find out about that uh, Grey Slash at Pionel. Yep. Okay, and Aggie will be checking that. Uh, oh. You have to re-enter the room. <laughs> Aggie just it's please random leave checks when you enter the room. Oh, they don't have dream yet. It's just gonna be a long no, walk, I guess. <laughs> it's just gonna be a long climb back up. Yep. Unfortunate. <laughs> be more unfortunate if they lost the lifeblood here. Yeah. Well, we'll find out if Lostkin is something. If not, then I guess it's guaranteed to be this lifeblood core check. That's where DB Sag is. That's a pretty rough location for that. Looks like Ichmi has not checked wings yet, so it could be there. Oh, wings before, after Oskin. Oh, it's it's not, not there. Oh no, Aki. <laughs> The rough climb up to... Oh no! No, I think it's fine if you lose your lifeblood here, Ryan. Oh yeah, that is right. It's fine if you lose oh, your lifeblood, as long that's... as you don't do that and leave the room. <laughs> I think you just... Deciding to leave the room? Okay. <laughs> now it's not okay. Yeah, that's a difference with Rando versus Vanilla. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, red finding their descending dark at Stagnest. Oh, Aggie, you know. <laughs> okay, I'm <laughs> barely getting out of Sibling Climb Alive. 
Oh, seeing look waterways for oh. the first time from Scout Limb not far behind. Oh yeah. And Ichni is going into edge. So let's see, what majors do we not know? We don't know either the Water Rays ones, we don't know the Fog Canyon one, we've still yet to see White Palace. Believe we know all the, all of the others. We know that there's a major at Lifeblood Core egg. Yes. We know what it is, though. So. <laughs> I'm not sure what Aggie's doing. I'm not a hundred percent sure either. <laughs> this this lifeboat quorum is now shut, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh uh, This was the slowest way to do this, but yeah, checking that place I guess. Last dirt mouth major is an egg shop. It's one of the dream nails. And there's that crystal heart for Ichni. Yeah, I wonder if one of them will go to Palace now. now they That's have a good question. Movement. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, Ikni went lower edge first, which means we'll be doing much of these checks, which aren't mages. But they could be, they could be Paylor, so yeah, that's all good. Yeah, there's still still two Paylor out there that the team seemed to find. Scout getting the bad news that yes, Cure Nail is a major. Yep. <laughs> yeah, limited dashless lurker, so I'm not sure how much worse that is for red, That's honestly. True. Oh, there's there's shaman, wow. That's a pretty awful location for shaman. Yeah. What if Red would go back for that? I I would. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I feel like, like that's it. something you. It looks like red is gonna go back for it. Yeah, I feel like that's something you don't do immediately, but you might do later. Probably do it upon realizing that you need to do call one. Oh, uh, Aggie, <laughs> Aggie, since they skipped life load call after. To BV and lost skin and get nothing out of it. Yeah, this is very unfortunate. unfortunate. Yeah. I'm gonna do Ismus here. Second, yeah, yeah, like, both very Is likely. Major, yeah, perfect sync from Scout and Limb, by the way, entering Isma's Grove. <laughs> yep, I 
Okay, that is enough rancid eggs for blue. Yeah. yeah well, we will be seeing Lifeblood Core finally <laughs> for yeah. the blue. I don't yeah, actually think Aggie did well. lost can, which is going no, to... Aggie... It will help them if, as long as they don't go back for it. But yeah, yeah no, which is going to be a good thing. Oh, Markov has so much HP with Nail, whatever it is. Yeah. Oh, Lim finally getting that last fungal major as well. Okay, what is this check that he's gonna get? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I can't discuss that one, I think. That one's on me. Yeah, that <laughs> one's on you. <laughs> and it's a Paylor at Markov. Oh, good find. <laughs> Love key at LBC. Arcane egg. Oh, yeah. Almost dying in Fall Canyon. Yeah. Oh no, is Aggie doing... I think Aggie just forgot about the base and pale ore. Oh no. That would be unfortunate. Oh no. There was Elegant Key at Massive Moss yeah, Charger. Like that. Oh. So, yeah. Yeah, Scout doing right Fog Canyon before left Fog Canyon does mean that they're going to miss that Pale War at Autopilot Seal. Sure. Oh, we'll see. Maybe, maybe let's go like straight past Archives to left Fog Canyon. Could be. Nope. Aggie's doing Lost Kin, no! Yeah, Aggie definitely forgot about the, the Paylor. Yeah, the Paylor. Which is really unfortunate. Though I do appreciate the, the Donald Duck uh, Grimshell. <laughs> That's oh, true. No. Oh no, Aggie. Wait, Grimshell doesn't even kill the balloons. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Lim about to die in Fall Canyon. I feel like we've said this before. Lim has, like, consistently been following Scout this whole rando, and I, I appreciate yeah. that. <laughs> There's Hera in Archives, by the way. Scout continuing to do checks here. Yeah, it makes sense. You want Paylor? Yeah. And there's two easy checks here. Yep. Sorry, three easy checks here. A Paylor. None of them were a Paylor, though. Nope. Looks like Scout might be going into White Palace. Oh yeah, whooping to his sec. Yep. First White Palace, we'll see. Okay. That's lost yeah. him down from Aggie. Red does miss one Paylor at Autopilot. Yeah, and Blue, blue misses 
the one at, Ar uh, at Markarth, yeah. Yeah. So I guess we'll need to see the other... Whatever's missing from both teams. Yeah. That's still three we don't know about. This going straight to Collar 1. That's, uh, that's the last thing. Vale, if that happens, then this will live up to its billing as one of my seeds. <laughs> yeah. Three Pale Lords, just in Sea Peak. Yep, Aggie defeats Loskin, gets a stag, and realizes that the Pale Lord exists. So we will finally see a Dream Gate for yep. Blue Team. And hopefully they do Iki checks as well at some point. I think Limb Sings yeah. Aya here, which is. It's also needed. Nope, I'm wrong. <laughs> it's the second time I've been baited by Lim going to Spire, this seed. <laughs> Checking the White Defender Totem, which oh, yeah. I believe is just a soul refill. I mean, what's left in Waterways then if we're checking this? There can't be much. There's White Defender and there's Tuck. And there's Tuck. Oh, true. I guess that's it. I was asking myself that earlier and trying to figure out what is the second major. Oh, yeah, there? there's like nothing left. Okay. So we see a Woken Dream as well. Yep. So, oh, Lim is going straight to Palace, I think. <laughs> Lim is just consistently following a scout this seed. It's hilarious. Yeah. Oh, and we do see Iki. So. Blue about to get three Dream Owls in the span of like two minutes. <laughs> yup. And they'll be like, oh, that's what Aggie they all personally were. about to get three Dream Owls yeah. in the span of about personally, two minutes. I, yeah. So looking at the check counter, it looks like Red is almost at a 25 check lead. And they have... Honestly, Which is definitely now, closing now that major we got gap. Those, yeah, well now we got those like three majors in a row for blue team, like the gap is only one. Yeah. Yeah. But... I mean, Brad still hasn't gone, picked up their dream now from Egg Shop. They're about to get Mesha from Polo One. And they're about, yep. Oh, Aggie, I think, doing Spire finally for Blue Team. Unless I'm getting baited a third time. Nice to Pale around. I think this. I mean, the, well, the Pale could just be in Palace, that's the thing. It could be. I'm not willing to say that it's a pale or pale or hunt quite yet, but it's getting real close. Yeah. And, and there's that last streamer in White Palace. Yeah. So I guess if if White Event is guaranteed, then that's useful. Yep. I mean, it's useful anyways because it's a major item and it lets you into black <laughs> eggs, but... That is true. Both teams have four pale ore total. They need two more. We know one that each team has missed. Blue has missed one at Markov. Red has missed one at Autopilot. Also, and... like, it was one at Grubs, right? And I don't think either team have gotten it. There might be one at Grubs. I didn't catch if there was. I think I did see one at Grubs. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Oh, uh, maybe it was with an egg at Grubs. Maybe I'm misremembering. Grubs, thank you. Oh, never mind. 
more payload yeah. needed than Actually, I think we are seeing peak from me. Yeah, it look, yeah. So let's try and find the payload. It's happening. Yeah. Let's see if it pays off. Yeah, it's a I lot it's of likely. checks. Yeah, it's a lot of checks. I think it's likely there's at least one payload here. Yeah. This There's one, one in White that. Palace in Path of Pain. Is that five? I think it's, just, That's I think five. it's five. Yeah, five. Five the, for red. Teams. I need one more. I mean, red team needs to go back, clean up a little bit in waterways, and pick up that last dream nail. What was it nailed for again? Great Slash. Alright. There's the last major in Path of Pain. And Scout is leaving. Which... Yeah. I don't think I, I like that here. I guess I still have cleanup to do. But... There's a little bit of cleanup to do. But at the same time, it's going to be a Pale War hunt, and you know it's going to be a Pale War hunt. Yep. So if there's a Pale War there... It's going to feel real bad. Chat bringing up a good point that if you're not comfortable with Path of Pain, it's definitely much more tempting yeah, to just leave. Fair. Oh, no limb. Limb was so close to uh, powering that. Yeah, especially if you're not comfortable doing it. Meanwhile, we're finally seeing the left side of Queen's Gardens from Aggie here for blue. Yeah. Finally get that mages there. Yep, so blue team also have five payload. Yep. So we know where the next one is for each team, but I think it's unlikely you get the one at Mark Alta Blue at least. Yeah. I mean I don't see I don't think it's that likely that Red gets the one at autopilot either. Because that's only three checks over in that general direction. Yeah, that's true. Oh. And Defender's Crest. Defender's at Crest. White at, Defender. That's that's pretty that's pretty mean. <laughs> Scout gonna uh, go straight to Tuck. I also leave. I think Lim's also just gonna leave Path of Pain. Yep. Yep. So both teams doing that. So if there's a payload there, then they both miss out on it. Oh, Aggie got one in Queen's Gardens. That's right, there was one there. Oh, there was one. I wonder which one they got of the red team then. So I think they're done then with Baylor. Maybe they did do Markov, and we just both missed it. Maybe. It's certainly possible. I, I don't remember that, but yeah. I think it is possible. So yeah, well... Blue team then done with Baylor. Pretty huge for them. What they got left. Now you haven't done checked like the gum journal entry. Yeah. Blue still has some cleanup to do. They haven't done Trade Lord. Yeah. They had no dash in Kingdom's Edge. Okay, I didn't remember when exactly they went to Edge compared to their dashes.
Maggie heading over towards Traitor Lord while Lim is in White Defender. Yep, so that, those two mazes are about to get. Yeah, and a third that they're going to get right after White Defender as well. Uh, for the From Tuck, you mean? Yes. Ah, uh, yep. So that will tie them up with um, Blue. Yeah. Who's just doing Paylor Hunt right now? They need... So what are they, what's the other major they're missing? Oh, they the see other major eggs, they're missing is the one of eggs, yeah. Oh, so they have enough eggs. If Red oh. loses to a Paylor Hunt... Oh, Scouts has... A, I, I don't think I've checked. I guess they haven't checked X Shop yet. Oh, no, they have. I'm they most definitely so have. They have, because there was two mages there. I think they've just forgotten. <laughs> Which would be unfortunate. The Crossroads one was Gurm Journal Entry. Oh no, Aki died to Trade Lord. Oh no. I hope, <laughs> I hope Red Team remembers that. Yeah. At least there's Ringmate there, so it's not the worst death. Okay, so Lim will pick up that Great Slash. And then hopefully it starts Crossroads clean up. This is definitely tight. Yeah, really close. <laughs> Which is kind of crazy, because... Um... Red had like a, a huge major lead before. And they still have a significant oh, no. check lead. Oh, the death. Aggie, please. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no. Lim on oh, the uh, Lim that major. The last crossroad. So it's just Trail Lord that they're missing. <laughs> wow. And yeah, this Peaks play has, has not resulted in any Paylor. I, I'm still very curious which one that um, Blue got over. Red. Have to find out afterwards. So yep, yeah, I'm just going up to Black Egg. I have to hope that Aggie can betray Lord here. One HP again. Oh, scary. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> no, Aggie! Unfortunate. At which point does Lim just go do it instead? I think you get the Black Egg Bench and yeah, you get the Black Egg bench. just go to help out your teammate here. I hope that bench sit was long enough. I think that's what Lim's doing, yeah. Aggie does have nail upgrades, yep. Looks like early mate to limb. That was really unfortunate for it though. I don't know what payload they missed. I mean, there's one at autopilot, but like, there's another one somewhere. Do you remember whether Blue did Elder Who? I don't remember Elder Who at all, to be honest. I don't remember it either. Potato, please don't jinx Aggie. <laughs> that was peak. Yeah, peak had zero pedal, I think. 
Yeah. <laughs> Unless there's some which, gear. Which is so sad. Like with Pale Heart or Hunt deciding a match just sucks. Yep. Blue team at zero mages. Gotta be beating the game here, hopefully. It does. Like the thing is blue team didn't really have to search for Pale Aura. Like you didn't see them doing like zero area. Um, yeah. places. I yeah, I have to. <laughs> I would love to see where they they are after this. So I actually have the spoiler log up right now because <laughs> looking at these Simon pale was locations, at the the sports room tablet and edge. Vale, honestly, it is. Oh no. Body checks head. Oh, so we're seeing Elder Who being done. So I am curious to see. So was there is there one there basically? So we've found out. Oh no. I blame Potato solely for that death. That's that's on Potato. Hail or Elder Who. Oh yeah. Audio switch to him, please. Really? In this could be this is close now. <laughs> like Oh no, a TH gear death as well. Oh no. Oh. Okay, it's it actually really close now. Oh no. Yeah. See, this, three this, players fighting TH at the same time. Yeah. It might be interesting to see if. Because. Red is going to see the GG from Lim. I wonder if they panic a little bit and play sloppy. That's certainly possible. Yeah, they know that like, Limb's finished now, so they might panic. Aggie stream is delayed. That's true. <laughs> Simultaneous THK screams from Scout and Ichni. Yep. Love to see that at see least. Aggie. And there's a scream from Aggie. <laughs> I do like the Sting Radiance fights. Yeah. Swag dive into the abyss from Aggie. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, we're seeing more synced radiance from Scout and Ichni. Oh yeah, flying platforms about the same time as well. Yep. Yeah, Aggie playing this is very safe, understanding. Oh. Yeah, this shaman difference is also kind of hurting them. Yeah, that's true. Okay, making it past platforms. Oh, and we have seen 
And we've gotten GG's from Ichni and from Scout. Yeah. And then GG's from Maggie. And then I think it was about less than 10 seconds later. Yeah. Yeah, crazy, Red wins. Crazy close at the end. GG's to everyone involved. Honestly, I feel bad for Blue. But on the other hand, I'm happy to not see a Pale War Hunt decide a race. Yeah. Yeah, at the same time, like... Red got so unlucky trying to find those Pale War. Because I think that's the highest location check count we've seen in the tourney so far. Might be. Because I'm pretty sure Oko and I had 291 in the first round. Yeah, it's, it wouldn't be quite as high a percentage, probably, of total checks because of Lore Tablets Call of 3 being a thing. But still, absolutely brutal. Let's invite the runners in for interviews. GG. Hi, Aggie Lynn. GG. That was a crazy race. <laughs> Scout and Ichni will be in in a minute. Yeah, uh, it would appear. So that race almost came down to a pale or hunt. I can imagine so. Yeah. Yeah. Because Ichni and Scout did 44 more locations checked than. You did. Really? They cleared all of Peak trying to find Paylor. Oh my wow. god. <laughs> oh, hi, Scout. Oh my god. Hello. Hey. Hello, hey, Scout. GG's. GG, y'all. I saw, I saw Limchi GG and I realized what's going, what's happening. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and Paylor Hunt. Yeah, so. Yeah. Uh, uh, blue team got quite lucky with the payload then. Have to, like, we got pretty lucky, all. yeah. Uh, I'm curious where you, you guys got yours, actually. Like, did you do Elder Who? Just before the finish, yeah. Oh, uh, I mean, yeah. So, I'm an Aggie, the last... did you do Elder Who? Yeah. I, I just started cleaning locations one by one, just whatever. <laughs> because, like, uh, Ichni was clearing Crystal Peaks because it was zero at the beginning, and, well, nah. I think it was a good uh, play. It was really unfortunate there was no payload there. Yeah. yeah. Was any puff of pain? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, there was just... Was. There was just the only other... There was just the one that you had to get. Uh-huh. Because I didn't expect to get one and then, like, clear white palace right away. It's just like, I was, okay, we need to start looking for ores for real. But... <laughs> I had, like, we split it, not quite unlucky, because I had uh, waterways on me. I knew where the two last ones were, then White Palace, when... Oh, I forgot, like... And I'm just realizing I have a lot of um on my hands, and, like, he has almost nothing, so I just, okay, go, go look for Paylors, because we need them. I also forgot about the Collector, because, like, I fought right out the Soul Tyrant, it's Paylor Hunt, but I forget Collector exists. Happily, mm -hmm. I decided to. I want to know what exactly there, so I could like 
Can I pick whatever, like, uh, whatever ways one, or can I, if there's a dreamer, okay, white palace later then, etc. So I decided to check and realized, yes, yeah, so it's a boy, lore hunt, but it could be a collector for us. Oh. So, Aggie and Lim, did you do Elder uh, We did not. You did not? Okay. No. So what pale oh. did you get then? So the only one that Our... like, I've been looking in the spoiler log. Yeah. Uh huh. Scout, did, did you miss a lore talent in Green Path? Did your team? No, Green Path was full clear. Okay. I think. I think. I think. <laughs> no. Because. Lore tab, I'm looking at the paywall locations. There's Fungal mm -hmm. Waste, Bullet Shroomal Ogres, Lore Tablet. Both teams got mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Lore Tablet, Pleasure House. Both teams got that. Mm -hmm. Queen's Garden, Hall and a Seal. Both teams got that. Mm -hmm. Path of Pain, Soul Totem. Both teams got. Mm -hmm. Scout and Ichni got Markov Pale War. Uh -huh. And Elder Who Pale War. Right. And then. Aggie and Lim got one at autopilot. And then the last one they missed autopilot. Is at Green Path Stag. Lore Tower. Autopilot you mean for Canyon. Yeah. Yeah. That one we, that was we, one we of the duplicates. That, we missed that one. That one. Because I had the thought that I'm going to maybe for checking autopilot and uh, Holy Brace. Yeah. So yeah, the other one, one that you missed. Is, um, yeah, the other one that you missed was Lore Tablet Green Path Stag. Huh? Uh, I missed that initially and went back for it. <laughs> I believe that's the one by the we can look Lost up Knights and the Geo above the Grub. Yes. Above the Goddard Grub. Yeah. Wait for real. Yep. Well, that's possible. Missed, that's possible. Yeah. I missed that one initially as well. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. Where, yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. I thought I get it in the beginning. Yeah, no way I was getting like. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a sneaky oh. one. Was there even anything uh, interesting yeah, in I, I, Peaks or...? Nah. Crystal Peak just had garbage. Oh, that's unfortunate. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I realized I missed because I went straight to Stag and when I thought I'll be going, like, up there and getting that later. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, that was close. That what was incredibly it? close. That was crazy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but congratulations, yeah. Scout and Ichni will be moving on to the next round. Uh huh. We'll be facing the loser of Vale Aiden versus Element and Officer Frog. Oh, that will be very, 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 very tough. <laughs> Lim and Aggie, I'm sorry, but that knocks you out of the tournament. Yeah, no, I like that was a very mm -hmm. that was a very fun seed actually. I I thought the logic was really interesting and um skipping we out of logic in that seed was actually pretty cool. So yeah. and then up really nice. V left wings very early. And then the like but I don't know. Because, ah, uh, yeah, I think because uh, we decided I'm taking this, and when I got Yzma and realized I'm going to Fungal straight away. So yeah, that's exactly what I did, too. Life. Yeah. And we forgot about that check. The second one was somewhere very, like, a distant village, yeah. Distant village tag, yep. Yeah, and I realized, oh. <laughs> well, well, but Dash was lucky. Yeah. So there was some interesting divergence in terms of what mm -hmm. skills teams got early. Wings, there was a major difference on. It was nearly 40 minutes 
between Lim Aggie getting it and Scout Ichni. Mm-hmm. Scout and Ichni were about 15 minutes faster to dash in cliffs. Yeah. Oh. We we thought that might have been the case because we were kind of wondering whether we missed it in Green Path or Crossroads because we left both of them with one. Uh-huh. So the whole time it was like, okay, we want to prioritize City, we want to prioritize Deep Nest, but we still don't have Dash. But also you don't really want to go back to Crossroads or Green Path because it could be anywhere. Mm-hmm. So it was a really difficult decision to make. But yeah. Yeah, I feel like with Cliffs 2 is a completely different ball game than Crossroads or Green Path. Absolutely. Because Cliffs, yeah. you can full clear much yeah. more easily. Yeah. But at the same time, I think Ichni decided to go there because there is also King's Pass, which is Dirt Mouth. Yeah. So, like, you take half of the Dirt Mouth on the way and then Howling Cliffs where can be anything else besides those two. Plus, yeah. we learned and lessons then... from our previous match where we just ignored Howling Cliffs for forever <laughs> yeah and then claw there was a significant difference too as well scout and Ichni got it about 10 minutes before Lim and aggie did mm-hmm. i honestly forget where it was it was in resting grounds uh, uh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Also was very lucky City Crest. It allowed me just to go to City straight forward uh, right after Fungo. We just split it so like I'm taking location, Nikni taking location, then like one mm-hmm. more and then one more. Like I'm going Green Path, Fungo, then City and Lane Deep Nest. And like Nikni doing other stuff. And also getting to the city but the, like right right half and then K Kingdom Sedge, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of Kingdom's Edge, chat making a very good point. Then Shaman Stone was at the Kingdom's Edge Sports Room Lore Tablet. Scout and Ichni got it. We got it. Uh, and Aggie did not. And when I was entering, I realized I didn't equip it. I was looking for Charm for one and I forgot I didn't equip Shamans. And I'm like, oh no. And then GG happens and each other, oh no. <laughs> Yeah, because I I didn't do lower edge first, I did upper edge. Like, I basically wanted to rush Colos to see what it was first because of the gimmick. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then I kind of just, like, peaked Oro and then found the major and then left. Like, there was just mm-hmm. no reason. So mm-hmm. the routing, yeah, it ended up... Wait, wasn't it that... It, it ended up not working one? in our favor. Ah. Yeah, dive was at Colo 1, but it's not a logical yeah. dive. It was a, it was a dupe dive. Ah, I see, I see. Or at least a D dock, if anything. Mm-hmm. But like, I feel like we, we found the nail quite fails. early, and like yeah, yeah, one, uh, for one. And I'm just like okay, like spells so secondary kinda. There were a lot of yeah. nail upgrades in Deep Nest. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, and I did Deep Nest somewhat early. I, I don't, I don't want to say like super early, but I basically went. Fungal, City, okay, then I should go through QG and then clear Deep Nest backwards. And, and that's what I ended up doing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. yeah, all in all, that was a very entertaining match. At the that end, was. it's like, it was one that I, I did not want either team to lose. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> Yeah. I was also going to like the shape of fun thinking, okay, tradition of the previous tournament, there is something useful there. <laughs> and then sorry feel uh, sad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But like previous in the tournament was very interesting because of matches like that and it's just like wow. <laughs> to be inside. Another thing that I'm yeah. seeing on the tracker. Scout and Ichni found Fragile Strength, and Aggie and Lim yeah. did not. Well, oh, found, we found the it, other one. Get it. Found so the other had... one, I should clarify, besides oh. the Flower Quest. Wait. Mm-hmm. Wait, I thought it was Abyss Climb, no? Uh... No, Dirtmouth Sag was Abyss uh, Climb. Ah, 
yeah. glowing womb that was the other fragile strength. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Ichni got it while cleaning up crossroads. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. I don't remember exactly which was the last one in Crossroads we had, but yeah. It was Gome. Gome, yeah. It was Gome. Yeah, because yeah, I think I'm Mas- for a while. Mas- yeah. yeah, and Mask Shard, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was a very, very good match. I would not be opposed if they were all this good, in, just in terms yeah. of how close they were. Yeah, I hope we will. <laughs> but like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I hope they're not close in this precise way. But... <laughs> <laughs> like that's very interesting to watch. Just, yeah. <sighs> yeah, our next match will be tomorrow mm-hmm. in about eleven hours. Mm-hmm. No, thirteen. I can do math. <laughs> and it will be the first match of the winner's bracket, Apress and Kuroshi versus Graz and Dadic. I will be calming that with Vale. And hopefully we will see you all then. Sounds great. Good luck for the rest of the tournament. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.